Today, the Defense Secretary confirmed the U.S. is withholding a military shipment to Israel. The move comes as Israel prepares for a military invasion of Rafah, despite U.S. warnings. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has the latest on the situation now in our top story at 5. The Biden administration is pausing a weapons transfer to Israel. We are currently reviewing some near-term uh, security assistance shipments. At a Senate hearing, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed the U.S. put a hold on a bomb shipment last week. The reason U.S. concerns the bombs could be used in Israel's invasion of Rafah, a Gaza city holding more than a million Palestinian civilians. Yeah, I think we should do everything possible. Uh, to ensure that we, we're protecting for uh, civilians. Republicans are slamming the decision. This is obscene. It is absurd. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says pausing aid only puts a target on Israel's back. If we stop weapons necessary to destroy the enemies of the state of Israel at a time of great peril, we will pay a price. And Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell accused the president of siding with Hamas sympathizers. And the campus communists who decided to wrap themselves in the flags of Hamas. Secretary Austin insists U.S. support for Israel remains ironclad. He told senators the U.S. will continue to ensure Israel can defend itself. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who has been critical of Israel's leadership during the war, says he trusts the White House strategy. I uh, have faith in what the Biden administration is doing. Israel's government calls the decision disappointing but says its operation in Rafah is critical to defeating Hamas. In Washington, Raquel Martin. Meanwhile, South Dakota Senator John Thune speaking out today about the military shipment pause. He says although military help is not going to Israel for now, the nation must stand beside their Israeli allies. The United States needs to stand shoulder to shoulder with our ally Israel which is why it's particularly disturbing that the uh, Biden administration is withholding military aid uh, from Israel. It is really important for the Biden administration to get this right and to um, stand with Israel. Not doing so not only undermines the security of Israel, but it also draws into question our reliability as an ally. The conflict in Israel has been continuing, of course, since Hamas led that invasion into Israel on October 7th.